Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome back to Stonehearth. So since our last episode, I did just go on and build Farmer Joe here, a little house of his own. So he has a nice little house there. We'll open it up so you can see what's in there. So inside we've just got a few beds in there for him. So him and a couple of the other people can sleep in there. And he's also got quite a nice little farm happening here with some um, some path right the way around. We've still got uh, carrots, watermelon, corn and we've also got some cactus flowers that apparently have healing properties but poor old Barry our potter over here his house is still under construction um, I don't really know what happened I think because we asked for what was it hang on let me bring the full house back up where is it there so I think in his construction here if I can double click the building because we have here that we need a potterer's sign and they can't actually build a potterer's sign without a wooden potterer's sign they just gave up altogether they were like right we don't have the equipment to build the house we're just gonna not worry about finishing poor old Barry's house so um unfortunately Barry the potterer still doesn't have a home and we also do have a few more citizens since our last episode so we now have 12 citizens of Newfoundland so these are all of our little heathlings at the moment and they're all just sort of cruising around so we got the two footmen we got Zeb is a herbalist Barry the potterer and Joe the farmer so, but what, what I was wanting to do is I would like to actually start building a little bit of a town hall because we do still have a fair few of these beds outside. So we really do need to start building somewhere where they can all sleep together. Together, I think that might be a good idea so maybe we might try and do that so we might maybe start it here we want the building to be quite large so we're going to go with the foundation first and we've obviously got a few here that we can choose from so I actually like that little zigzag pattern I think that looks kind of cute Right, so, and I also worked out the way with the roofs, it seems that the roofs seem to go on the widest part. So we're going to need to make sure that the entrance is the widest part of the build, so then the roof sits nicely. So we might maybe, we want it to be quite close to the town centre, so we might maybe start it here. So all I want to do in here, I just purely want to have this as like a sleeping quarters. So somewhere they can cuddle up at night time and stay nice and cosy warm. So we will need some walls. So we did the other one out of stone. We might maybe, we did the farmer's house out of wood. So we might maybe try the clay brick. Did I use clay brick? I might have actually used clay brick. Maybe we might use stone for the walls and clay brick for the columns this time. We'll do something a little bit different. So we might go this grey colour for the walls and we'll go a nice sort of rose rock. That looks alright to me. So what does that look like? as the walls so that would be the walls there we haven't used any of these clay tunnel doors yet what do they look like they look kind of cute actually so what is that that's fairly wide so we could put one how big are our windows so we could put a window if we put the windows in first let's go a window there and is that two in that's two in and a window there then we can check out these doors check out our placement on the doors so we could maybe put a door here and another door there I think that looks kind of cute and what should we put in the middle we need something in the middle something to break it up I don't know do I want another window do we want maybe some of these you could possibly get in one two three they're gonna be a little bit skew if we might maybe put one there and one there 
but that looks all right to me I don't want to put in any signs this time though because like I said we can't actually make them we need to um, upgrade someone so then we can get a carpenter because he makes all the wood stuff so we really need to get a carpenter daily update immigration report day 15 new found la land population of 12 next Pathling requirement. So we got enough food and we got enough net worth. So we have another settler that would like to join our town, taking us to 13. So we have Aleph, who is just joined. Where are you, Aleph? Nice to meet you, buddy. And he's running in so happy until he gets there and he finds out he's a worker and he gets straight to work because I'm just making them all work really hard at the moment <laughs> oh i know but it's a new land it's a new land we have to make them work hard otherwise we won't get anything done look at these two over here just chilling on our chairs down here eating some watermelon oh they're so happy i'm glad you're enjoying your break now get back to work <laughs> um all right so we have two doors there and those there. I'm wondering, we might maybe put some little potted cactus down out here for a bit of decoration. I think that'll look kind of cute. So we might put one there and one there. So just under our windows. That looks kind of cute. And, oh, we also have some wall tile mosaics that our potter can make too now. So, and, well, that actually fits really nicely in the middle there, doesn't it? I don't know if I like that or not there, or if I've got too much going on on the front of this building. Maybe we might leave that off. Um, what do we need to do? We might put some windows on the other side because we want it to be nice and breezy. So we might put these ones a little bit higher up on the sides, like so, and we'll do the same again on this side. And beautiful. And do we need some across the back here? Um, maybe we might stick with our little white windows. I think that looks all right so far. And we need to put some furniture in. So now we need some beds. Now, I don't know if these urns hold more than just clay. They are urns that you can... Um, it stores up to 32 items, but I don't know if those items could be food or if the items just purely are clay. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't figured that out yet. So, we'll chuck down two of these fine beds. So we have two fine beds and two normal beds. So there we are. We managed to get in eight beds. And I might maybe place a couple of these little guys just in case they have something extra that they need some storage for. And do we have anything else in the way of furniture? No, that's all we have in the way of furniture at the moment. So we could possibly put some little chairs in here as well, I guess. Put a table in here. I didn't really want them to come in here and eat though. This was just meant to be more of like a dormitory where they can come and have a rest. I might maybe pop down a few more beds. Maybe we will go another one at the end here. And we might do the same at the other end here also. And I might leave it at that for this building. So like I said, I just wanted this building just purely so they're not sleeping outside so they can sleep inside and they can all sleep together if they've got nowhere to sleep then they can sleep in here and we'll probably put up some some we'll maybe might get some rugs or some curtains or something like that somewhere along the lines make it a little bit cozier a little bit cuter so we're now going to head for roof so we went with the red one last time we might maybe go with the blue one this time so we'll turn around and we got a trader coming so there we are so we got the blue roof will look like that or maybe i should increase the overhang because you can we could make it come down more so go one two oop nope didn't mean to do that five maybe and then we could probably put in some little columns out the front some little freestanding columns 
make it look like there's a little bit of a pergola out here and maybe um, put out some chairs and things. That'd be kind of cute. So there we are. So I just pop those up and I think they look kind of cute. It sort of looks believable like they're holding the roof up. That looks... I actually think that looks pretty good. And then we can put a little chair out the front here. I think that'll be a nice little place for them to go have, have naps in. I'm just sort of wondering if maybe... Because I'm not sure with these big windows, if the enemy can actually get in through those window windows. I'm just wondering if maybe it's a good idea to have like an escape route. I don't know if we should have another door on here somewhere so they can quickly sneak out if we do get any enemies coming in. So maybe we might maybe place another... Oh, no, nah, that's not going to work with the doors, that with the beds there. Hmm... It's not going to work. Ah, bugger. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. I just thought maybe we could put, like, a little sneaky back door. Well, we still could. We've got a little, little blue door there. How does that look from the other side? Let's unslab this house. Nope. Go the other one. So what if we put that there? What does that look like? If it's in the middle. That actually doesn't look too bad. Daily update. Food. We don't have enough net worth. That's probably because I've been playing with this house the whole time. <laughs> Alrighty, oh, so we might um, we might do that. We might actually put another door on here, I think. So slab it down so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to put another door there. Kill. I think that looks kind of cute. I think that... Uh, I think they'll be happy with that. And then we can add, oops, then we can add some roads and things like that so it's easier for them to get to. And I can also bring over these chairs that are over here and add them down here. Oh, hello. No one warned me that you were here. Hang on. Come on, guys. You just got to come attack these guys. Invaders approaching, you think? It's a little bit late. Where was my warning? <laughs> and I'm honestly not too stressed at the moment about calling everyone in town because these these guys seem to be relatively easy to fight. Um, I guess if we start getting some bigger monsters at some stage, then definitely I'm going to have to call everyone to the town square and hopefully keep them safe. But at the moment, my little footmen seem to do a pretty good job. So, I think... That's probably it with our little house. Ooh. So I've just been tinkering with our building and it says a goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into town. Ha ha! Your puny settlement now part of glittering territory. I deserve tribute of shinies. Five small healing tonics, one clay bed, six copper ore and three clay dining tables. Uh, I think we're going to have to accept this one, guys. I don't think we're strong enough to go up against a goblin just yet. Um, where is he? And which direction did he come from? What if I get out of here for a second? Where are you? So it said you swaggered into town. So where are you? I can't see you. I am guessing this is your camp over here. Okay, so we are going to sum up the competition. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and the big dude. And they got a sheep. Look, he's got a little sheep. Prized companion. That's his pet sheep. Oh, I would love to go over and raid him, but I don't think at the moment we're quite strong enough. We've only got two footmen. So we might actually have to accept and just give him the money and the things he wants. Because I don't think we're strong enough just yet to take him on. But we will get our own. We will definitely go over there and beat him up at some stage. So I don't know if we have all the stuff the goblin wants. Satisfy the goblins. Me back soon for stuff. Better have it or no good for you, little halfling. So we've got enough healing tonic. We got. We need to make another clay bed. We need to get some more copper ore. And we've got enough dining tables. 
Alright, so we need copper ore and some clay beds. Right, so I better get straight onto the potter and tell him. Sorry, Barry. We need some beds pronto, buddy. So we will get you... You can may as well just make ten of them because we're going to need some for our new dining hall anyways. So ten of those and... I believe I bought the copper ore. I don't think that was something that we picked up along the lines. Um, yeah, I think I bought it. I think I bought it from a traveler. I don't actually think we found it on our own. So I'll quickly finish this building and then hopefully we can find some copper ore might have to really start digging a bit further down in that mine so we can see if we can get some copper ore out of there there we are so i'm pretty happy with that just did a few more touches to the path so we are going to go finished editing and get that to be started to be built just double check that we can definitely make all of those items and we are going to go we're going to save it and this is going to be hotel heathley and we're going to save that and we are going to build it yes start building straight away thank you very much and we get another daily update so we have enough food and we have enough enough net worth so we have another settler that would like to join in so we will go except oh, she must be here somewhere she's obviously probably just joined in the gang straight away so for the goblin we need to wait until we've got another caravan that comes through here she is this must be her there that's tyra there she's a bit cute they're so cute check them out they're all building the foundation now getting it all beautiful and i can see now i missed a spot <laughs> oh no there's a spot over here as well so that must be where i put um our pylons for our veranda oh they're running over to that stockpile over there to go get more things and here they come dun, 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 dun. they're like little ants so efficient these guys are and i think it's really cute that they actually build little lattices look they build little ladders and things like that so they can get to the places that are really high up. I think that's super cute. Now, I might also need to start looking at promoting another footman. So, Tyra actually has a really good body. That's a six. That's really good. That's really handy. Um, Who else have we got here? So, Tyra is actually the best we've got. So I'm going to change you jobs, love, and you're going to now become a footman also. Congratulations, you are now a footman. And as soon as possible, once these guys have finished building this little house for us, we might actually promote our potterer, Barry. So if we go change jobs on him, he can actually become a mason now. And then we can get another potterer going because we need a mason. So in order to get a cook that makes delicious food, we need a level 2 farmer and a stoneware spoon crafted by the mason. So we need a mason to craft that spoon for us. And we also need to get a trapper's knife, which is crafted by the mason. So then we can get a trapper, which then means that we can get a shepherd, which means we can get some sheep, which is kind of cool. And we also need to get a carpenter, but it needs a carpenter's sword crafted by the blacksmith. Now to get a blacksmith, we need a, a blacksmith's hammer crafted by the mason. So it's really important that we get this guy up to mason really soon because mason is where it's at. The goblin stomps back into town. Want stuff now. You make. We good. You no make. You die. We all friends. Small healing tonic. We've got them. We've got the clay beds. 11 of 1. Copper ore, we've got that. Clay dining table, we've got that. So here you go. My stuff. Ha ha ha. 
you pretty good for peon be back soon right so we're obviously gonna have to chase him away we definitely need to get a better army together and just go beat him up and steal his sheep <laughs> so we've got enough net worth and we've got enough food so we will bring in another person to this equation oops didn't mean to do that so we have Be bezel bezel where are you bezel where are you? There they go, running. Yes, we've got plenty of work to do over here. You're more than welcome to come help us build our sleeping hall. Invaders approaching. Ooh, um, come here, guys. You just need to come fight over here. I didn't do that properly. Come over here. Over here, get him. Get him. So all of them are going to come in here. Why are you? I was going to say, why are you standing there? Run away, you goose. Beautiful. So the three of them did it really quite easily. That is excellent. Now we're almost there. We're just missing out on a few windows. And we've got a couple of doors. And it looks like we've got another little planter pot over here that is missing also. But otherwise, they have done a fabulous job. I think that looks really awesome. I think that looks really, really cute. So it's going to be somewhere nice and cozy for them to sleep at night and I think it looks kind of jazzy. This guy here, he's just chilling at the moment. This is Talon. <laughs> Get back to work, Talon. Why are you slacking? Everyone else is running around doing stuff and you're just sitting here slacking. So, where did everyone else go? Where did they all go? Where are they all? They're all just standing around doing not much of anything. They must be waiting for the potterer to be finished. Oh, what are you? He's got a big chest out here. I don't know if three footmen are going to be enough, but we're going to give it a shot. Come out here and attack this guy. And we'll check out what the trader wants. Hello, newfound land. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you'd be interested. If you make me two red clay doors, I'll be back in three days, and I might be able to get you one weaver's spindle in exchange. Sound good? Mm, no. Decline. I don't actually need a weaver's spindle at the moment. Beautiful. They did that awesome. They did a really good job with that. I was actually quite concerned that we might not be strong enough to do that. So I wonder if I need to tell them to come collect this stuff. Oh, nope, someone's already coming to collect it. Awesome, they're coming to get all the bits. And seeing as they were standing around just slacking, obviously waiting for the potterer to finish building, we might need to get them to collect a few things, collect some berries and stuff, seeing as we're starting to run a bit low on food. Invaders approaching where? Oh no. Jeez, we're getting hit from every side and every angle. Um, guys, we need some help over here. Everyone go home. Go home. Run to safety. Run to safety. We have some bad guys over here. It's alright. Here come our troops. They're coming in. Get them. Get them. I don't know who did the big jump and pow, but that was kind of cool. Someone's getting extremely enthusiastic out there about being a footman, that's for sure. So there goes one. One to go, guys. Doing awesome. Yeah, good job, good job. And there we go. Everyone can get back to work. It is safe now. It is safe to run around and collect all the resources. So I just grab the last of these berries here as well. Oh, no, we've already harvested those ones. And look! They're using our little sleeping room. How cute. So it looks like we still have one that's sleeping outside. So we may need to bring another bed inside. If we've still got one little Heathling sleeping outside. We don't want anyone sleeping outside. There are a few beds over here and things as well. But whether or not they realise that. Might get them digging this tunnel down a bit further as well now also. So we might maybe go right the way along here we have a daily update please tell me you're going to give me some new citizens we don't have enough food still but we still we get enough money but not enough food that's all right maybe next time and we might maybe dig out a little bit further over here as well say we don't want to chop off that ladder 
So you might go there, and then once you've finished doing that, you can do all of that. I think that should keep them entertained for quite a while. We should have no slackers. Everyone should be working. But what I might do, a goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into town. No, go away. I don't feel like doing what you want me to do. What do you want now? You want six stone wall lanterns and two energy tonics. I don't have any wall lanterns. I might have two. But I don't know how long he's going to give us before he's going to try and beat us up. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to accept and then fingers crossed you give me a bit of time. Because I don't have any sto stone wall lanterns. But I don't think we're strong enough. Um, hopefully I can accept this and then we will get a trader come through and we can promote someone else to a footman maybe. We need another footman. We need at least four if we're going to try and beat them up when there's six of them. So who else have we got that's quite good in body? Four, three, four, 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 five. Lyra's body isn't too bad. Um, so I think Lyra will be the next one to get promoted to footman. But I don't think I actually, I don't have a sword at the moment. So I can't make a sword. I have to wait until I get a trader in before I can get a sword. What's going on down here, guys? Oh, we need a ladder. We're stuck. Radio, I'll get you a ladder. Here you go. Now you can get out. Because if they're just stuck down there, they'll just sit down there and have a chin wag. They'll just sit down there and just talk to each other all afternoon. <laughs> until we tell them to get out. And then they'll go, oh, okay. So maybe we might need to build another big ladder from the bottom up. I think that might be a good idea. Because otherwise they're going to get themselves stuck in there. Well and truly. And maybe another ladder just here because I have a feeling she's probably going to get stuck there also so they're doing a great job there the potter is running around like a madman as is farmer Joe farmer Joe is running around like crazy and I think this house is finished now I think that's it it looks pretty good to me let's uh, have a look at it yep it's all done it looks pretty... Oh, hang on. Although, there might not be any doors on it just yet. So we got a blue door, but we're missing a few doors and a few windows. That's alright, because I actually... I'm ready to change Barry into... We're going to change jobs, Barry. And you're going to become a mason, because I think we really need to get some better weapons and thing like, things like that. And I'm hoping that the mason can do that. So we're going to click to approve you to be a mason. So we're going to need to, once you promote, we're going to also need to get a potterer. So I was thinking maybe Lisa. She has, she's quite intelligent. So we're going to change Lisa. Change jobs, Lisa. You are now a potterer. Congratulations, Lisa. Potterer. Then we're going to need to go into the Mason's menu and get him to build a Mason's workbench. So we might put the workbench over here near where we have the pottery studio and the herbalist stu studio. And we... where is it here? So we want to craft this one right now. You can make that straight away. And then what was he wanting? He wanted... Um, what did he want? He wanted stone wall lanterns. Stone wall lanterns. Which ones were they? Stone wall mounted lanterns. I think they're the ones he wanted. So what do we need? Requires mason workbench. Requires mason of level 2. Well, I hope you pick this up quickly, Barry. Because um, we really need to get this done. Like uh, yesterday, buddy. <laughs> so fingers crossed he, he gets that happening pretty quickly for us. We really need that done. But with that said, 
I may have to leave this episode here today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you all again soon. And fingers crossed we can get all this stuff ready for this goblin so he doesn't um, come destroy our little town. It's not much, but it's a start. And I don't really feel like it getting broken down just yet. Poor Barry's running around. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you all again soon. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.